robots that are capable of pulling objects weighing 100 times, 200 times, 500 times, or even 2,000 times their weight. Have you seen a robot that can pull object that weighs 10 times its own weight? If not, then you will be even more amazed if I tell you, what if I can show you a robot or robots that are capable of pulling objects weighing 100 times, 200 times, 500 times, or even 2,000 times their weight? Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. And today, in this video, I will show you the smallest but strongest micro robots in the world. I don't want to alarm you, but let me say this. I think experts have already invented robots that are stronger than human beings. Let me show you my first example. The 9 gram sticky bot, the Stanford Labs first ever robot geeko. This is just a 9 gram microbot that can hoist more than a kilogram as it climbs. Let me show you a video clip of how it's able to carry big objects. There is still another one I want to show you here. A 17 gram microbot pulling a weightlifting plate weighing 1,200 pounds. Let's observe how this tiny robot pulls this heavy object. Another one I want to show you here is this very small micro tag robot pulling a cup of coffee which is weighing more than 10 times its weight. Watch this! Still not convinced? What about this? Six unbelievable micro robots pulling a car weighing 3,900 pounds that is equivalent to 1,800 kilograms. Watch this! Despite their very small weight, these six small robots weighing just 3.5 ounces equivalent to 100 grams in total linked together are able to pull a car weighing 3,900 pounds which is equivalent to 1,800 kilograms. Well, to give you an idea, that's the equivalent of six humans managing to move the Eiffel Tower and three Statues of Liberty. And now, the last one I want to show you here is the tiny bot called Flycrotog. These are Flycrotug robots. They're flying micro tugging robots, and they are micro-air vehicles. Experts at Stanford University, Switzerland, gave this robot a name called Flycrotug. And the name itself explains what it can do. It is capable of flying, crouching, and tugging. Watch this! What we've done so far is we have a proof of concept that says, yes, you can have these small air vehicles that are able to interact very forcefully with the world by, by anchoring themselves and, and tugging. Its small size means that it can fly through small spaces and get fairly close to people, which will come in handy for search and rescue operations. Watch this! So if you've got the site of an earthquake or a, an explosion, you want something that can rapidly go over to a building, get inside, look around, but then also maybe move a piece of debris out of the way or make something become unobstructed. And for that, now it needs to anchor itself and pull with a hard force. They are capable of carrying up to 40 times its own weight and performing simple mechanical tasks. 
And so what we did was combine some attachment mechanisms onto these micro air vehicles so that they could latch onto their environment and tug with forces much larger than they could with their available thrust. They said that these flying bots are also capable of traversing obstacles and unstructured terrains. In another instance, the researchers handed the flying bot a camera and used it to explore a crumbling structure. Watch this! We looked at lifting a heavy sensor payload to inspect a collapsed building. A closed door is just one of many obstacles that poses no barrier to this type of flying micro-tugging robots. Watch this! We also, as a, a sort of a proof of concept, opened up a door. So one of these uh, vehicles uh, grabbed onto the handle, another one slipped a hook underneath the door and was able to pull the door open. All of these were manually piloted within line of sight, so it was really testing the capabilities of the hardware. For smooth surfaces or any kind of surfaces, the robots have Geco grippers, which are non-stick adhesives that mimic a Geco's intricate toes. Watch this! Two ways of anchoring on surfaces, and they both come out of the prior work that we've done on climbing robots. If you have smooth surfaces, then we have a gecko-inspired adhesive that works on a tabletop or on the floor or on a window. We have a different technology that we developed for climbing robots that's inspired by how insects climb. They have many little tiny spines on their legs, and those interact with bumps and pits on the surface and allow them to latch on, and again, to hold with a force much greater than their own weight. I like to think that in the near future, these microbots will be used for pulling or carrying heavy things in construction sites, factories, or even in rescue operations in the event of disasters and emergencies. But if this level of power is ever to be used against mankind, we might be in deep trouble. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. When these robots team up, their strength is significantly multiplied. Well, that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.